You know, I get MSI motherboards frequently for a reason. And that reason, my friend, is that right there. The amount of ports that you get on pretty much every single MSI motherboard is wonderful. Now you're probably all like, yo, that's the same motherboard in this computer. Nope. This motherboard's for AMD. We're gonna be doing another build with the 7000 series CPU once the person that I built this one for comes and picks it up. And yes, I just barely witnessed and realized that my, my RGB lights fell down. I apologize that if it's annoying you, it's also annoying me, but I don't feel like fixing that at the very moment. So we got Power Phase VRM Lightning Gen 5 NVMe. Once they're actually available, as far as I'm aware, the only ones that I can see on Amazon are Gen 4. So once we get Gen 5, that'll be pretty cool. And that two shield browser, we got Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, premium thermal design, latest DDR5 memory, audio boost, and a 2.5 gigabyte LAN cable. As far as the actual motherboard, man, I just, I love their BIOS. They make everything super simple. The overclocking super simple. The layouts are super simple. The only thing that I don't like about MSI motherboards is their mystic lighting application to adjust the RGB. However, I did figure out a way to use Armory Crate and the Aora that ASUS has with the MSI motherboard. And I'm actually being very, very, very serious right now. I'm going to open it up right now and I'm gonna show you guys that I'm like actually being serious and not messing with you because it, it you guys see this, right? This is the Rogue Strix RTX 3090 memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Aora FX and I'm gonna go from blue and I'm gonna change it to red. You saw that, right? See how it's red now? And now I'm gonna go back to blue, back to blue. So, Overall, that looks like a, a decent motherboard for the 7000 7, series AMD CPU. So, now you're all wondering, what CPU are you going to use? You see, AMD is releasing their new 3D chips pretty soon. And I really want to get one of those. Because something that I really was blown away by when I was benchmarking this computer with the 7700 in it so if i remove the graphics card from that power or from that pc and i just use the cpu you literally can just like have no graphics card in the computer runs and works perfectly fine it's crazy how much of a difference the integrated graphics with the 13900 and the integrated graphics with the 77 yeah, 7700. There's a big difference. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff.